Welcome to Creep Caught. In this video, we'll be looking at 30 creepiest moments caught on dash cam. This video shows something which could easily scare any driver. This person is driving at night minding his own business, but on this highway, he witnesses a terrifying sight. Three cars are parked in the middle of the road, and few people are standing beside them. As he approaches these cars, the car parked in the middle starts moving, but another car comes in front of this person's car. It's the cartel. Yeah. These men start pulling the door handles of the car, but fortunately they are locked. The person driving the car trusts his instincts and puts the car in reverse gear and takes the U-turn instantly. Luckily, no one gets harmed. The dash cam in this couple's car shows a strange occurrence. A couple is driving late at night and they are talking about something. The car's speed is quite high as there is near to no traffic and it's the highway. The drive is smooth, but suddenly they see someone in the middle of the road. This man quickly turns the wheel to save the lady, standing there following his instincts. What is a person doing in the middle of the road, at this time of night? That lady seems to be dressed in a long frock with a white sweater, maybe. Maybe she is lost, or maybe it is not even a human being. I guess we will never know that. This video is caught on police dash cam. In Kentucky, police are doing routine surveillance for traffic violations late at night. From one of the cars they were checking, they hear some voice. It seems to be coming out of the trunk. When they open it, they find a man. I'm questioning, he says that it is his own car, and he was randomly attacked by four persons at a gas station where he works. He told them that they had beaten him up and then trapped him in the trunk. He is partially conscious as he has been in the trunk for four hours. He is saved miraculously, otherwise we can only imagine what could have happened to him. This video was recorded by a dash cam. This man is driving smoothly on a highway in Singapore, and suddenly he is startled. There is some girl standing on the road divider. He presses horn to avoid any sort of accident. But the question is what would a girl be doing standing on this divider, and why is she trying to cross the highway from this point, where the speed of cars is way too much? This video recorded by dash cam is from Russia. This woman is driving on a road that is considered to be dangerous. She suddenly stops her car as she sees some girl floating in the air wearing a long dress. And what's crazier than this is the fact that she disappears in an instant. That looks like a paranormal activity for sure, but many would say that this is scripted or camera trick. Maybe we will never know. This Zack finds himself in a lull between his DoorDash deliveries, idling in his car, when suddenly his attention is captivated by a heart-stopping sight. A young girl recklessly disregards the red light, propelling herself into the path of an elderly gentleman who, quite rightly, had the right of way with his green light. Reacting swiftly, Zack immediately springs into action. He assesses the condition of both drivers, ensuring their well-being, and swiftly reaches for his phone, dialing the emergency hotline 911. 
With a calm demeanor, he prepares his dash cam footage, knowing its vital importance in assisting the forthcoming arrival of law enforcement. The aftermath of this calamitous collision paints a grim picture. Both vehicles involved have been rendered entirely unusable. However, a silver lining emerges amidst the wreckage miraculously. Neither driver appears to have suffered any grave injuries. Florida Highway Police is chasing a truck stolen out from the Tampa area. They call Sheriff's Office for help. The driver who stole the truck had also been involved in the carjacking. The chase continues for quite a long time. This seems to be a scene straight out of a movie. Just wait for the end. Signal four and wrong line of traffic. Piccadilly, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong line of travel, path of Piccadilly. Continue on. In Beloit, Wisconsin, on April 13, 2021, Rock County deputies received a tip regarding a man named David Quinones. David was wanted for burglary, domestic incidents, and had a felony warrant. Spotting David's black BMW parked on the road near a residence, the deputy waited for backup. As David left the house and entered his vehicle, the deputy attempted to block him in but failed. David accelerated and fled, prompting the deputy to engage in a high-speed chase. He's leaving. He's leaving right now. Yep, bye. Well, he's a suspect in my burglary from Bus Road. He's got a felony DOC warrant. And he's got uh, fleeing charges from Christidas. However, due to David's dangerous driving, the deputy decided to discontinue the pursuit. Moments later, David's BMW collided with a Buick at an intersection, then crashed into parked vehicles and a detached garage. 402, uh, he just crashed. I'll uh, advise where we're at here when I get Abandoning his vehicle, David fled on foot. Oh, shit. 402, he had a house. Oh. 
Clark, if we can get some units, we went west. West of the U-Haul storage. Units were called in to search for him near the U-Haul storage. Let's go find him. How are you doing? <laughs> I would imagine. Did he bail out the passenger side through the garage? Okay. Come on, Sash. The incident highlights the dangers of reckless driving and the challenges faced by law enforcement officers in apprehending suspects. This video is extremely strange as a person is driving and minding his own business when all of a sudden, a car switches lane and stops in front of this man's car. A man gets out of the car and walks aggressively towards this person's car. But this man puts the car in reverse gear and manages to get away as soon as possible. Who knows what would have happened if he had not trusted his instincts and moved away. The video captured by a young driver on his way home depicts a peculiar incident that took place on an otherwise ordinary evening. Familiar with this road, the driver had never encountered anything out of the ordinary before. As he accelerates, he believes that a guardian angel might have intervened. Suddenly, a person materializes in the middle of the road, causing a moment of terror. The driver attempts to brake but fails to avoid the figure. Astonishingly, the car passes straight through the person without causing any damage, leading the driver to believe he encountered a ghost. After the car comes to a stop, the driver exits to check on the mysterious figure, but there is no trace of them. The darkening of the car in the video raises questions about what exactly unfolded during this eerie encounter. On the morning of July 29th, 2016, a truck finds itself on a road in Calais, France, overlooking the narrowest point of the English Channel. Its destination is a port that will take it across the channel to the UK. Suddenly, the truck in front of it abruptly breaks, causing the truck with the dash cam to honk in response. Moments later, several men armed with flashlights emerge onto the road, hurling rocks at the truck in an attempt to halt its progress. <laughs> even utilized tree branches as makeshift barriers. Determined, the truck plows through the obstacles, fully aware that stopping could lead to injury or worse. These men seen in the video are part of a migrant gang striving to be smuggled into the UK through any means possible. They resort to setting up impromptu roadblocks, pelting trucks with rocks, and standing in the path of vehicles, all in an effort to force truck drivers to assist their illegal border crossing. Similar incidents have been frequently reported by other truck dash cams in the same vicinity. In the early morning, Matt, towing a trailer loaded with fence posts, faces an unexpected crisis. A Ford Explorer careens off course, crashing into his Jeep Wrangler. The driver claims his foot was trapped, causing the vehicle to accelerate in reverse. The SUV collides with a Cadillac, smashes through a wooden fence, and finally slams into Matt's Jeep. Ignoring the consequences, the driver continues to accelerate for an alarming 30 seconds before turning off the engine. Unable to react swiftly due to the trailer, Matt is left bewildered. The Explorer driver, remorseful but confused, wonders how his foot became trapped. Suspicion arises in Matt's mind. The police arrive and arrest the driver for driving under the influence. Matt takes charge, sharing his dash cam footage with the driver's insurance company, who accepts liability and covers the Jeep's repair expenses. Surprisingly, the driver's wife expresses more anger than he does. Thankfully, the steering wheel of the Explorer was turned left, averting potential tragedy because at right, a joyful children's birthday party unfolds, blissfully unaware of the chaos nearby.
While driving home from a gathering, the driver's attention wanders, and he becomes lost in his thoughts. Suddenly, his focus is jolted by an unexpected sight. In the absolute darkness, he spots a figure, human or otherwise, strolling in the middle of the road. Reacting swiftly, he slams on the brakes and halts the vehicle. Drawing nearer, he observes a peculiar detail, the presence of a white stripe on the figure's attire. Strangely, there is no visible light guiding their path. Captivated by the bizarre encounter, the driver instinctively documents the event, initially assuming it to be an ordinary person bundled in a blanket. However, an unsettling sensation gnaws at him. Is it a spectral apparition, an enigmatic entity, or simply a regular pedestrian? While going to work, Cole admits that he was driving faster than he should, around 10 miles per hour over the limit. Suddenly, a pickup truck appears on the road in front of him, but he couldn't see it clearly because of the bright headlights from other cars. Without any time to react, Cole crashes into the side of the pickup truck, causing his beloved Saturn Ion Red Line to flip over multiple times until it finally stops upside down. It's not surprising that the car is completely wrecked and can't be fixed. Fortunately, Cole survives the accident, but he needs surgery for his broken wrist. Surprisingly, the insurance company for the pickup truck driver blames Cole for the crash and refuses to pay for his damages. Cole wants to know if he should hire a lawyer to sue the insurance company and who is actually responsible for the accident. He also takes a moment to thank his family for supporting him through this difficult situation. A man is driving on a quiet road outside of town. He explains that the night he recorded the video seemed normal, with nothing strange happening. The place where he was driving is not known for any ghostly happenings, which makes what he experienced even more puzzling. He describes seeing something unusual, a dark, see-through shape on the left side of the road. He wasn't sure if his eyes were playing tricks on him, so he was surprised when he watched the video from his car's camera and saw the same thing. In the footage, you can see the outline of a shadowy person standing by the road. People speculate that it couldn't have been a regular person, because it was late at night and not safe to be there. This mystery leaves us wondering if it was another encounter with a ghost on a dash cam or if there's a different explanation. Some might say it was just a bush, but the true answer remains unknown, and the strange events on the video continue to puzzle us. Keith was driving his Model Y Tesla in Los Angeles, California. He changed lanes to avoid the traffic, but couldn't see well because of the stopped cars. When the traffic light turned green, he started crossing the intersection. Suddenly, a Honda hit the side of his Tesla, causing it to spin and hit a signpost. Surprisingly, the bumper of the Honda that caused the accident ended up next to Keith's Tesla but the driver of the Honda quickly ran back to his car and drove away. This is called a hit and run. Unfortunately, there was no license plate on the bumper and the Honda didn't have any license plates at all. Keith called the police, but they couldn't come because he wasn't hurt and it was only a hit and run. He called a tow truck to take his car to a repair shop and made an insurance claim. Now his car is being fixed Etman, who was 18 years old, was driving his 2006 Mercedes-Benz E500 back home after school. He wanted to overtake a BMW, so he switched to the lane for passing. However, right at that moment, the Nissan Sentra in front of him unexpectedly crashed into a truck. Etman reacted quickly by pressing the brakes hard, but it didn't help. He ended up hitting the back of the Sentra, causing a three-car accident. Etman faced some unfortunate consequences. He was given a $250 fine for his part in the accident. What made things worse was that his insurance only covered damage he caused to others, not his own car repairs. This meant he had to take on the responsibility himself. So, for an entire month, he worked on fixing his car in his driveway. He used parts from another Mercedes with a broken engine. Although the car still needs a paint job, it's impressive that an 18-year-old like Etman was able to fix it for his first car project. In the outskirts of Russia, a dramatic event unfolds. A driver halts his vehicle at the roadside to replace a damaged wheel. 
Amidst his task, he becomes suspicious of a recurring vehicle passing by. Fearful of ill intentions, he ventures up the road, procuring a sturdy steel pipe for self-defense. The enigmatic car reappears, but this time it comes to a halt. Inside, three bandits emerge, one sporting a track suit. They approach the truck, demanding money for supposedly trespassing their territory. The driver, undeterred, remains inside and contacts fellow truckers for assistance. Several trucks respond to his plea. Emboldened by the reinforcements, the driver emerges brandishing his steel pipe. A growing convoy of trucks arrives, effectively barricading the bandits' escape. The truckers, now numbering almost 20, band together to overturn the criminal's car. The flipped vehicle rests awkwardly on its roof as the triumphant truckers gradually disperse, having rescued a fellow comrade from the clutches of a potentially life-threatening situation. This video shared by TeamAbu23 tells a confusing story from someone who posted it. One night, while going home, he looked up at the sky and was amazed. Can somebody explain it to me? There's something, something going on over here, right? But the sun is over here setting right now. The sun is over there setting. What the is that? He had never seen anything like it before. Wanting answers, he asked his viewers. Both he and most of the people commenting found it strange that there seemed to be two suns in the sky. The uploader was confused and wanted an explanation. He said it was unusual because one sun was setting in the west and the other was in a different place. He was frustrated and asked for help understanding. Some people thought it might be a natural thing or maybe even aliens. But the most likely explanation was a sun dog, which is when there are bright spots next to the sun in the sky. It looked beautiful but was rare, which surprised everyone. A person is driving his car and suddenly a biker comes in front of him and hit his car out of nowhere. Nothing happened to the car of course, but the biker slipped badly and his bike skated away. Biker can't be seen in the rest of the video. In the outskirts of Toronto, something shocking happened. It was a windy day in May 2021 when a car was driving on a calm road. Suddenly, a silver plane flew past very close to the car. The people inside the car were shocked that they almost got hit. Right away, there was chaos as the plane crashed onto the grass on the other side of the road. The front part of the plane and the signs were damaged. Thankfully, the two people in the plane, who were a teacher and a student, only had minor injuries. This accident occurred while they were practicing a touch-and-go exercise. This exercise is when you land on the runway, slow down, and then quickly take off again. But this time, the plane couldn't go high enough when it tried to take off, so it went fast across the road and crashed. Luckily, no one on the ground got hurt, and the teacher and student didn't have any major injuries. This a dash cam video from 2012 in Russia. This driver has to stop suddenly because of a road blockage. The road is blocked with branches of trees and bottles. Another driver is already removing the objects out of the way. This driver joins her to clear the path. As they have completed this task, a car can be seen coming towards them from the opposite direction. Moreover, two people can also be seen coming out of nowhere. But the drivers manage to get away safely. This seems to be intentional and who knows what could be the purpose of this. Under the scorching Los Angeles sun, a suspicious man catches the attention of the police. With a convincing demeanor, he provides the officer with an identity and a plausible explanation for his presence on such a hot day. You, you live around here, boy? No. Where do you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's your no. name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh -huh. Now, where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. Roofing. Introducing himself as Robert Smith, he claims to work for his brother's roofing company and maintain a rigorous daily jog of 12 miles. What is? We got an escapee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where from? Uh, prison. Doubts arise 
prompting the officer to contact dispatch and compare the man's features with those of an escaped prisoner. Scrutinizing eye color, tattoos, and facial hair, the officer finds certain resemblances, but ultimately believes Smith's tale and allows him to continue. Only later does he realize his mistake. Robert Smith was, in truth, Richard Lee McNair, the very fugitive he had been hunting. I promise you I'm not no tracing this case. Either. You'd have done wrong by now. <laughs> you know that yourself. <laughs> You'd have done wrong by now. McNair had previously escaped prison twice, even resorting to mailing himself in a box. Presently serving a life sentence for a fatal shooting on that particular day, he was the elusive criminal who slipped away. In a mysterious dash cam video from Russia, a large truck swerves to avoid an invisible obstacle, narrowly avoiding oncoming traffic. Shortly after, a pedestrian emerges from behind the truck and walks away calmly, as if nothing unusual has happened. The uploader of the video speculates that it could be a ghost, a theory that seems plausible if the video is authentic and not digitally altered. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and creepiest one, and if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. The submitter of this video was driving home when an aggressive driver in a pickup truck flipped them off for no reason. The submitter retaliated, and later, the same pickup truck driver aggressively confronted them again on the road. The driver damaged this person's mirror, but this person managed to capture their license plate on video. The submitter took the driver to court, where they showed no remorse and blamed the submitter for their violent reaction. However, the judge ruled in favor of the submitter, ordering the driver to pay around $600 for the mirror repairs. Despite the lack of remorse from the driver, this person chose to be generous. This incident highlights the importance of seeking peaceful resolutions and the consequences of responding with aggression. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.